aggressive, simple, yeah. but effective. And that's exactly, you know, I ran into Arson on the way over here for today, and I was asking him about the character, etc. He thinks it's a top five character, like, free. Like, no question about it, Nina's a top five character in Arson's eyes. I mean, if you think about it, I feel like Nina's never really been one of these characters that's been so bad. I think it's more locked behind, you know, the execution part of it, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like in this game, it kind of kind of pushes that to the side, but also she just got some really good tools yeah, in, you her, know, in her repertoire now. So I was asking him specifically, you know, because I have a hard time when I see Nina, I'm like, what is it specifically about this character that makes her a top five character? When you see, like, Oz in the past, like, oh, yeah. the one three two is obviously good. You look at Victory, like, oh, Expul Show, and he's got the back one, but too high yeah. power because Heat Engager. What is it about He's like, she's got really good heat engagers. She's got really good chip pressure, and her offensive pressure in general with heat causes a lot of chip damage by itself. You don't need the guns for it, etc. Plus, she's got the gray life extinguishers. Great character overall. Just solid over everything, basically. Okay. Well, I look, I completely agree with you. Yeah. I'm going to see if Arsenal's going to be able to close this out. Arslan Ash versus Farzine coming up. This is lower bracket. Somebody's going home. Exactly. And this is a run back from the loser final at Combo Breaker last week where yes. Arslan did take the set to first to three. This, however, a first to two. All right. Well, here we go. Somebody's gonna be sitting in the stands watching. Well, that's a long flight back to Pakistan, I can tell you that. Oh, oh hell yes. Oh, Low the heat, heat smash. smash. Needs to be careful. Of course, we're in a breakable floor here. Two of them, mm -hmm. actually. Heat dash. Counter hit, launcher with the trade, and Farzine should steal the round. Straight into the rage right, I don't blame him. Simple, sweet, effective. The rage right to close out. Ah, uh, dead. Got him. Nice comeback there for Frazine. He really brings out the counter at the, at the last moment, right? Like, you don't expect him to use it because he's been poking you down so much. Mm -hmm. I feel like he plays back so much. He kind of uses, I believe, his back one plus two from uh, Axel Victor as well. Kind of like Shotgun, where he's getting these big counter hits, makes you freeze up, and then he goes ham. Of course, the running. Yeah, there's that up forward to just to track the sidestep. No break on the one plus two throw. It happens. No one breaks all of them. Nice, goes for the low this time around. Life lead now in favor of Arslan. Trying to get a reaction, interrupted with the jab. Cool glass. Oh my the gosh. running twos, heat burst. Oh, the slide. The low to close out the round. Arslan ties up the set already. Yeah, it's really interesting watching Arslan play. Gets the counter down before. I was going to say, Arslan really good at just using like normal safe pokes, right? He's playing Nina as if she's like a Tekken 5 character going away. Uh -huh. And it's still so effective. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. Gets the punish. Tornado at the wall. Big damage. Lots of blocks done here. There's the heat burst. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the full cost. Look at the heat dash, the amount of chip it did. Left in a pure 50 50 situation. Farzine with the perfect there. The down four one to close out. Farzine down two gets the activation. And instantly uses all the resources. Yeah, it took up like 35, 40% total there with that exchange. But Arson here chipping his way back in with the great health. I like this up close, personal fighting right here. Nice counter hit. Wow, train, well, the but train doesn't get the combo, huh? I wonder if you could maybe do down four two after. Maybe. Oh, yeah, Breaks Frazine, one plus two. He's doing a really good job of using the homing attack to stop Ark from doing the side step right, which is so effective against Victor. It's the timing, man. That knows exactly when you want to do it. Arslan Ash ties up the first match, two rounds apiece. Final round, game one. Arslan and Frazine. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I like the challenge up close. Sometimes going for the low just in case there's a high, and that's Sway getting out of danger. Yeah, he pulled out the, the gun for the with the backflip. That was OD. <laughs> Throws broken this time. Floor one hit away from breaking here. Cool glass. Floor's glass. Oh. Down for one, a sidestep side two. two. Uh. Arthur should be able to close out here. Has the floor break available. He backed that out of chance oh. but doesn't get it arson happens to close out there man that was a scary moment that was very scary that was very risky yeah he had an option there to try to extend the combo but he didn't expect to be out of range from where the wall was i think but arson getting game number one all right saying a lot once again i feel like arson even going into tekken 8 definitely has a huge target on his of back course. a lot of players really want to kind of you know aim at that destiny and who is that on the stage that's Atif. Atif. Coaching Farzee right now. Little words of encouragement towards the end there. My man is young, though. <laughs> you're still young. You got this when you're older. Don't worry. Right? Look. Runs into the stage. No breakable floors. Just an odd-shaped stage here. Yeah, when you get to the corners of the stage, 
uh, especially is when things get kind of wonky, right? Gets a little funky. Let's see what happens. So game number two for Zine with the victor. Okay. Down back two right there. Like that. Has tracking properties on it. Looking for the sidestep from Farzine. Oh, trade uh, wow. once again. And still ready to get the follow of Arslan Ash. And he just immediately keeps the pressure going. Not a counter. Farzine has the punch ready to go. Activates heat. Oh, you can see Arson looking for a counter hit right there. Not going to get it. Gets the throw on the wall. Yeah, now 50-50 for the win here. Just gets him. Keeps it simple. That's simple. He's been doing this all weekend. Just simple. One, two. Did you move? All right. Mm -hmm. One, two. See how you look. One, two. Did you move? Blom, bomb follow up. Yeah, one of the things about Farzine's playstyle we're not really seeing here is the success of his power crush, right? We haven't seen him hit one power crush heat engager. Oh, no, that's facts. Oh, wow. Floats him out of the spring kick. A lot of spring kick right now for Farzine, too. Oh, wow. Big lead here for Arslan the guns. Yeah, he's starting to run away with it. Farzine trying to make it back now. Okay. Blonde Bomb uses the heat dash to build some space. Tries to sidestep the string. Keeping him in tow. No break on the one plus two. He might two. be dead. Yes, he is. Whoa, rage damage on the throw there. All right. Once again, one round apiece. Game number two. Lead in favor of Arslan Ash. Oh, mm -hmm. counter hit. Now we're seeing him start to come out. Going to get to the wall here. Or just swall positioning. Counter hit. Yeah, found the down forward that time. And for Zine, building up some momentum right now. Heat burst activation. If that was side step two, it would have been different story. Nice block of the Heat Smash to get the full launch here. Mm -hmm. Arslan Rage now has Heat available to extend the combo if he needs it. Okay. No back dash this time. Gets the full combo. Takes the Oki. Runs up to try Blonde to close bombs. out. bombs. Double blonde bomb. No Rage. No Heat left, excuse me. But Rage on both sides. Look, he tries to finish the string, like I said before, but he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh the jab. Go! Oh, the low, that tricky movement up close from Nina. I feel like pulling it out at the last second is the smartest thing you can do because it really tests your opponent. But that was still scary to do. Oh, yeah. The size of one cancel there from Arslan happened to close out the round, but Perzine's still back in it here. Cool glass. Not over till it's over. Arslan does such a good job of winning the power crush and the running twos. Oh, what a sidewalk. Farzine gets a little damage off of that part mm -hmm. of the string. Stays stuck to get a follow-up as well. There's the heat activation. It's Fuja. And give me this gray. Building it up. Out oh. of heat now, though. Arslan gets the 4-3 three three. counter hit. Rage on the walls there. He's on deck. And he's getting life back as well. He oh, my God. Look, Look at, at this damage. Blonde bomb for the closeout. Farzine in trouble. And that is going to do it. Farzine eliminated from the wow. Esports World Cup. Arslan Ash stays alive. Moving on to top five is Arslan Ash. You talked about him having that target on his back, and that's been the case for him for the last few years now, right? Tekken 8, obviously a new game, but throughout the end of Tekken 7, he was the guy still to, that everyone was targeting, right? He won the last.